right, guys. Hey guys, if you are here, hey Alicia. Guys, I had to, I had to go get a freaking glue gun. Cause I could not find my glue gun. The last time I had it was when I did this with y'all. I know Kayla got my gun. So I had to run to Walmart. I literally just got back from getting um a new glue gun. And the thing I don't like about this glue gun, guys, is it's not a wireless one. It's cord it so we're gonna do what it do though so how y'all doing how y'all doing thank you for joining me if you guys catch this on a replay totally fine but y'all know i'm right now i'm actually waiting to go deliver our equipment to the venue for tomorrow's draping class um but i said i was gonna come do this with you guys so i definitely wanted to hold up my end of the deal and i really just wanted to show you guys how I do it different and how I like this way much better. Um, if you guys remember, this is the one I created last time. I created a couple other ones, but this was like um, the one I was really wanting to do because I wanted the bling. But then I didn't like it. Like I didn't like how it looked in the photos. I really didn't. Um, and then I showed you guys the other one with the applique. Which are these, and I real I just wanted to really use this one because I think it'll have better quality. But since I bought this whole roll, it's a big roll, right? I still wanted to show you how I was planning on using it because I'm still gonna use it. It's a lot of it's a lot, even though it wasn't expensive, it's still a lot. So I'm gonna use it. So I wanted the first thing I'm gonna do. I didn't do the double cameras, um, because by the time I scheduled it, I realized I scheduled it here on YouTube and not on Streamyard. And unfortunately, on YouTube, they don't allow you to multi-stream unless you go to like some other software. So I'm just going to be adjusting my camera when I need it to pan down for like for you guys to see exactly what I'm doing. But the first thing I want to do is show y'all this black sequence. I'm gonna do I'm gonna do three different ones. I'm gonna show you this black sequin. Because, wait a minute, guys, let me read. Okay, I'm gonna show you this black sequin because we got some black sequin in and it's so pretty. I can't wait to use it, but I really didn't want to take away from the black sequin by using, you know, like bling or something else. I really want the black sequin to pop through. So I want me a black sequin wrap, but I don't want, I don't want to just wrap it around the thing. So I said it would be cool to just still create my diamond pattern. I don't know why, but I like my my tiebacks, like the, the squares to be in a diamond. I don't know. That's how I like it. Um, and I just want it to be black sequin, right? I don't want any appliques on it. Like the whole purpose when I do this backdrop is to really showcase the black sequin. So let me pan down. Okay. So this is the black sequin. Let me get my little thing out the way there. Now, if you got any questions, guys, just pop them in the chat. But this is a black sequin. This is actually a napkin, guys. It's not our fabric. This is the thick sweet uh, sequins, meaning it's on taffeta. Um, and I got this from CB Lemons, I believe. So this is um, the canvas board that I was telling you guys I had from Amazon. But this is the thin one. This is another thing I didn't like about these boards they thick i don't like that i mean it's a personal choice if you want to go with the box shape fine but i i didn't like it so i wanted i went in here and i ordered some of these hey carla kim so again this is this black sequin now i'm not i don't want it to be super bulky so i'm only going to use a little bit of the sequin and i'm going to uh measure it out and cut it off Okay, so let me get my scissors here. I probably only leave about an inch, about an inch additional. Oh Lord. There we go. 
Okay, doll scissors. Make sure y'all have some some sharp scissors. We do so much cutting around here. Now I'm not going to um. If you want to like add some stuff on yours, you can. I'm going to leave it like a black plane first. And then if I don't like it, then I'm, I might add some brooches or something. All right. So I, as you see, I got about an inch. Uh, about an inch all around. Now, I don't like, a, um, you know how you, you close a corner off? I want my corner to be clean. So I'm going to cut it so on each corner i'm gonna cut out a square just so it could help it keep keep it a clean a, a clean look i learned this by um wrapping gifts And I'm still going to use my wig band, guys. I really like the wig band. I like the flexibility that it gives me. All right. What y'all doing? Y'all got to talk to me now. Carla, when you when do you travel? When do you get in? Okay. Cooking. Mm, what you cooking, Kim? All right, I got all my um. Oh no, I forgot this stag on sequin gonna be everywhere. Oh Lord. All right, now I'm gonna go in with my glue gun. Oh, this sucker hot. All right, and I'm just going to, uh-oh, push some glue out, maybe. Oh, Lord, don't tell, I'm going to say, don't tell me Walmart and gave me a reject. All right, woo-wee, this stuff don't be no joke. Ooh, couscous. I ain't had that in a minute. Jerk salmon. Oh, that sounds spicy. And some cabbage. I got some cabbage. It's been sitting in my refrigerator. I don't know how long. A head of cabbage. I've been supposed to been cooking it for quite some time. Y'all know I'm on my lore. I don't know what to call it. I'm not on no vegan. I'm just experimenting. All right. There's that piece. Bring this piece over. Oh, I'm a little amazed to keep stopping. Oh, because it's only a three thing. Okay. All right, so now I'm going to pull this over. Ooh, y'all be careful if y'all get to playing with that glue. That stuff is hot. All right. Get your, your ends. Make sure they secure. All right. Now, when you pull like the last two pieces, you want to make sure they tight so they're not like loose on the other end. So definitely you want to pull them snug so you get a nice tight application. Okay. Tanya, this is your... Uh, I'm, I'm making this for that black sequin. Yeah, that sequin is gorgeous. So I had to make some tiebacks to go with it. Hey, let me get some glue. I don't know what I was thinking about last time. I ain't really, I wasn't really crazy about it.
All right. Secure my ends. I'm really great getting into this tie back thing, y'all. Especially now that I'm got I got so much like scheduled for this channel. And with you guys sound clicking with that, I get in at uh, oh 11. Is my sound clicking? What that mean? Picking my daughter up from work. Oh, I had dropped mine off. All right, so can y'all see that? The light don't really. I like this. This is like simple. It's elegant. When you when I put it up against the backdrop, it'll really have the the sequin showing. Like just really the focus will be the sequin. Now I still use my wig bands because I like them. They work for me. So I'm not even going to cut it because this is a wide, this is a wide um, canvas. And what I like about the wig bands, what I've noticed, because I had like different size backdrops, or what, well, like the fabric rather. Some have a lot of fabric, some doesn't. And this gives me the flexibility. of making it how tight, however tight I need it, like being able to put a lot of fabric in it. I'm gonna go all the way to the end. So Alicia, did you make your, I know on the live the other day, you said you um, got your gold applique. Did you make him? Yeah, I like it. I like that it's simple. I like the simple elegance of it. I really do. Oh, that glue got me. So you guys will see this on the backdrop. And if you guys notice, I don't put, like I don't really put three of these on my backdrops. I normally just put the one in the center because my other two that's on my like my uprights, you don't really see mine because of how I drape my, um, because of how I drape my, my pole covers. All right, guys, so this was my trip. Oh, my goodness. All right, so this was my trick, guys. So, wait a minute, let me talk to y'all. Oh, Lord. There we go. Okay, so this was my trick because what I didn't like, that glue got me, boy. What I didn't like about this one like I said, the, I think to me, uh, it could be my personal choice, that silver, like the foil in the back of this, to me made it look cheesy. And I think when I was taking photos of like a, of that black drop and I saw that, it just really boarded, it just, I don't know, it just really dummied down the, the effect that I wanted it to give. So I said, I'm gonna do the same thing, but instead of having that silver in the back, I'm you you won't see anything other than the bling and I think um like when I kind of tested it out I liked it much better it had a cleaner look and it just was bling it wasn't no silver looking like aluminum foil kind of deal so this is I got from Amazon it's a little piece of plexiglass right but what you can do and which I I, I did as well I just didn't cut them yet you could go to Home Depot or like Lowe's, something like that. It's much cheaper if you get it from there because these two pieces was about, I don't remember, maybe about 15 bucks, maybe. But in Lowe's, you can get a whole sheet and the sheet is like maybe $8 and you can score it to whatever size you want. And you can make them a little thinner. You could get it thicker. You could get it, it's plexiglass. You could get it however you want. Um, oh, you made the silver one? You made one with pearls. Oh my. I bet you that's yummy. <laughs> if yummy is a thing in our backdrop world. All right. So this is how I did this one, guys. Let's go back down. Make sure you guys can see it. All right. So I took that same cheap bling wrap, right? Which is this stuff. I didn't go around like um like around my edges or anything. I want this to be. Super clean, meaning I measured it from end to end, and that takes about two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve crystals or twelve. 
uh, rhinestones. And then I just want to cut it and make two of them. Cut it right between the threads. This to me had gave a much cleaner look. Now the only thing I won't be putting a um a I won't be putting a black wig band on this because you'll be able to see it, right? Let's put and I'm not gonna put a whole lot of glue because I don't want it to really pop through because it's open. Okay. Da 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 da. Woo. Boy, that glue boy ain't no joke. Ow! So, I'm trying to make sure it's lined up. Because I also noticed that on my back, my, my other one as well. It was like crooked. And I'm real anal about stuff like that. I, I saw it. Another way, because now I'm seeing some glue on my plastic, is just to put the glue directly on the rhinestones. Glue gun is so much fun, guys. There's so much you could do with a glue gun. I was in here yesterday mapping out some new ideas for my Tyvex. And all I can tell you is the possibilities are endless. Let's put a couple. I don't put, put too much. All right, let's see how that works. This glue must be cheap because it sure is drying fast. Like super fast. Or is it supposed to dry fast? I don't know. I've been out of create the, the arts and crafts world for quite some time. Okay. Now, I don't know about y'all, but you, you, you guys tell me. I just like that it's clean. This is real busy. I I really didn't like that that foil. I really did. This is just a lot cleaner. And and to secure this, I probably would get like a little a little piece of rope, like a really little piece, and just um, glue it like right here and just tie it around, tie it around. But I like the cleanness of it, so you can kind of just focus on the the uh, rhinestones. And then if you have it up against whatever color your draping is, if if it's neat, right? Like y'all know I like the colors up top to match the colors down the bottom. You'll still be able to see that kind of pop through. So I kind of like, I like this one better. I just really, I really didn't like this one at all. I didn't. And then, it, like I said, as you guys see, it just was like uneven and I didn't like it. It really was the foil. The foil just killed me. But then somebody made one in the group. I think it was Kim, Kim Jones. And she kind of laced it with that. That looked cute. She kind of laced it with a different kind of. Um, I think she put more sequin like on top, and maybe some brooches. I'm not too sure, but it looked cute. But this is like my little rendition of doing it, just making it clean and not real bulky looking. That way, you're not really taking away from your backdrop. And then my other one, guys, finally being able to use my appliques. Like that's that was was what I wanted to do. So this is how, if you order from Amazon, this is how it's going to come because it got the protective film on there, right? And even the ones from Lowe's have the protective film on there. So I'm gonna keep my back piece of film on there so the stuff don't get on there, The um, all this dust. So guys, back to this. These are, I can't wait to use these. And I got the gold, wait a minute, where is the gold? I got the gold pieces as well. Like I like, I really like the gold. I want the gold to be in like a black, a black, not black, a gold and white sequin like backdrop. That's going to be pretty. Um, But I was waiting, I'm still waiting for these in gold. I only have them in silver, so I can't make my gold ones until they come. But since this is so big, I needed, I needed several of these. So this is pretty much my layout.
and I'm just going to glue them right on top. But I want to kind of line them up. I ain't really like these little pieces right here, but I don't know. I, I, just don't, I ain't like it too tough. But I had to kind of use them because I still, I needed to fill the, you know, fill it up, fill the, the, the um, this canvas up. So it's like I had to use them some kind of way. But definitely not in love with it. Wait a minute, guys. Okay. So this is my layout. And I wish I had more of these, but I'm tr I'm trying to keep everything still in a diamond shape. That's how I'm gonna glue it on. Like I love this freaking thing right here. I I love it. And even though it's not um, so like if you get the if you get the sheet from Home Depot, you will be able to make it whatever size you want. And that's why I had got the sheet because I wanted to make it a little smaller. But then I really, I still couldn't get it the exact shape I wanted because it's not necessarily like a square. It would have been more of a, more of an odd shape. And I'm not that good with no, uh, with the thing you got to cut it with. That was kind of hard for me to do. The score, it's like a scoring knife. So, and as I did some further research, y'all, I saw that they had this in, like, um, they had them in red and purple. I say, okay, now, I see you. Put it right on there. What y'all think? This is my favorite one. This is the one I'm going to be using tomorrow. This stuff is hot. All right. Let me just put it here. These are kind of, these are much heavier than that, um, than the other, the bling wrap roll. So I'm putting more glue because I, I would hate for it to fall off. Yes, Kim, other shapes. Like, I, I, I know I was on the computer with just dealing with this probably every bit of an hour. I got so many ideas in my head going. I was like, oh, my God, that's the one. That is it. <laughs> yeah, I saw Alicia did a heart. Um, I think it was flowers, though, a heart shape. I was like, okay, y'all, come on with the creativity. Come on through. But this is going to be like the stuff that, you know, makes it different. Woo-wee. It's hot. I like that. I and mean, yeah, it was with flowers. I remember. I was like, look at Alicia. Come on through, lady. <laughs> All right. Get that in there. Now, something like this on camera. Now, this will pop. Especially with, with like rhinestones, because no matter where the camera turns, it'll like 
the, the colors will just be keep blinging. Now this compared to the other one I made, this one's surely one it costs more and it looked like it costs more. I like it. Ta-da! Guys, that looks swank! Oh my God! Let us take our film off. Wait a minute. Let me let that dry. Let me put my... Uh, I need this. To... Now, I'm not going to make the, my black band wide because I don't want it to go beyond my... Uh, I don't want you to be able to see it. So let me see. Uh... Can't really see it. But I wonder if they sell these in another color. Because I probably would rather use white since this is so transparent. But this is all I got. And I need this for tomorrow. So this is really nice, guys. Now, this is like when the the brides that really love bling bling, this is an accessory. This could be an upsell, not something you automatically just give away. Oh, my goodness. That's what I did. That dang on pressure is always doing something. Guys, don't do as I do. Just do as I say, though. Don't do, don't do as I do. <laughs> I told you the right way to do it, but I, I forgot this film was on there. All right, let's just take it off. Ah, look at that. Okay, there we go. Now let's put some more on there. I, was, I wasn't even thinking. I'm like, it looked awfully cloudy. Duh, precious. All right, there we go. Now this guys, this is by far is so far my favorite piece. Like I love it. If I get some more of these things in, I might just go ahead and fill it all the way up with like these little pieces, but the pieces I have now are just enough for my other one. But even with it like that, I like it. I really I really like that. I really like that. What other straps I have? I don't have any other ones. That they're the ones that I use. I I like them. I, they're just real convenient, and I like the fact that it gives me flexibility. Um, I was thinking about wait a minute. I was thinking about putting like using Velcro, but I like them. I like them because they have the el elasticity, and sometimes I got backdrops with a little bit of fabric, and you can make them tight. And sometimes I have backdrops with a lot of fabric, and it just needs. A, it needs a um, bit wider opening. Yeah, guys. So look, this is my favorite. Y'all know this is my favorite right here. This is my baby right here. And that sucker, Lord, she a little heavy, y'all. She a little heavy. Then this one, I like this. I like the simplicity of it. And like I said, they, I did see some brooches that were black. So I might, but the brooches are expensive, y'all. I don't know. They, they a little expensive. You talking like twenty dollars for one? I'm like, hold on. That's a lot, but this the black, this the bling, and then this my updated. The simple, it's just simple. Even putting something on this, right? I wouldn't put these because these these are different color. They more crystal, and these are more silver. But even like like when we was talking about putting brooches on it last time, um, I don't just like that one better. It's just cleaner. It's a cleaner version. So guys, the trick is plexiglass. Plexiglass will give you that transparency. Plexiglass will help the focus be on the actual jewels. Because if I set and put this, ooh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Ah! Pay me no mind, y'all. This is how I be all the time. Look at that. See, I was just sitting here saying, what if I put it, what if I put some brooches on the black? I don't know. I can't, I, it caught my eye at first. I was like, I like that. I like that. What if you just throw them different ways? I don't know. 
I don't know, guys. That's just how I be in my head. I'm like, I like that. But main thing, like I said, the main thing is the plexiglass. The plexiglass will allow you to be able to um, have the focus on the actual, on your creativity, on your design. When when I put this on, like the other mock-up, last time I did this uh, video, I really couldn't tell. Like, it was just too much going on. I really couldn't see the jewels. See how I just put it on that? I really couldn't see the jewels because it just was a lot happening. So, but when I take it away, you can see exactly. And it looked like a, you know, it's a shape. So, I like it. <laughs> what y'all think? What, Kim, what other straps would you use? And I like that too. It just I just laid it there and it was like, okay, I like that. Come on, Dwayne. Okay. <coughs> That's really pretty. So I don't know. I can't wait till my gold come in though, but I don't have I wish I could make it now, but I don't have them the big triangular pieces. Um and with doing it without that, it, it looked too empty for that big old piece of plexiglass. Um, so yeah. You guys got any questions? So, guys, this is what, what I'm doing for this, for quarter two. I don't know if y'all heard me yesterday. But for quarter two, <laughs> sorry, guys, I'm not fully over my my um, my um fake COVID because it sure felt like COVID. I'm not fully over it. But for quarter two, most of my, most of my focus is going to be on content, like strictly content. So I'm going to be doing a lot of these. Uh, like a lot of these um, live streams, like doing different things. So I got so much, guys. I got so much, um, like little projects that I'm I, I'm I'm doing, and I'm preparing for. So I'm be excited about that. Also, it's gonna be. It looked like it's gonna be Tuesdays that I do this, um, the live the live stream thing on Tuesdays, and the next one is gonna be. It's doggy, y'all. I can't see how many. What is that? Best fabric for perimeter draping. That's what it looked like. And that'll be on the 18th, um, next Tuesday. And then I can't I can't read the, the one after that. I can't. But you'll see like how I uploaded the, the thumbnail and everything yesterday. You guys will start seeing them trains. Like as long as you if as long as you keep your membership, you'll have access to it. Just kind of set a reminder. For the most part, it looked like it's going to be Tuesdays, because that's pretty much a day that I'm going to dedicate to just live streaming. Um, Cause then I do Wednesdays, I do the posh cast, but it'll be a great way to not only come here live with you guys, but also to repurpose my content later. So like, it's, it's like you guys that's here live, you're going to see it first. You'll get the live interaction. And then maybe a month or two late, two months later, it'll go to, it'll go to um, like my regular channel. That way I could keep a consistent flow of content and not, happen to constantly make tutorials but like i said the beauty is it the beauty of it if i even if i'm taping a tutorial because i gotta i gotta go in the studio and tape a tutorial coming up it'll still be a streaming like having live stream access to view it um to to, to view it that's the whole behind the scenes access thing so i am super excited about that tuesdays is fine with me ha <laughs> maybe some ribbon uh, but then ribbon, there's no control over ribbon. Like ribbon, the one thing I wouldn't like about ribbon is once you put it there and then once you secure it like around your backdrop, it'll loosen up because there's no play, right? So if it loosen up, especially with this being heavy, this is heavy, y'all. This is heavy. If it loosen up, then your stuff will start dragging unless you like make it super tight. And I just I just like stretchy things anyway um, because it gives me more control over how tight to make it um so yeah so next tuesday guys is best fabric for perimeter draping because a lot of people are doing draping like a lot of people is even asking me about um wholesale because they they got to do perimeter draping they got drape of uh, some people a lot of people are getting these venues and i mean i get it because i had to go look at two venues today and i mean i get it get your feet in the door but they get in these venues and it's like the walls are ugly so they got <laughs> they gotta cover them up right and white draping can transform a space like no other 
So like a lot of people are doing that and they kind of confuse. I had one young lady reach out to me yesterday. Um, she was trying to drape her venue. She just got it. And she had no clue on how much to use, what to get, no nothing. And I, and that was kind of happening, I would say, a lot since probably the summertime. Like, it's just been, I just get these inquiries all the time. So I'm like, okay, clearly it's happening. So uh, let's put some content on the channel for it. So I'm going to be talk, talk, showing you guys and talk, telling you guys as far as perimeter draping the best fabric. I know a lot of people go with stretch. I get it, but I got some news to tell y'all, but you got to be here next Tuesday to find out what I got to say. So... <laughs> Kim, how in the world am I going to put slits in the plexiglass? I am the, I am the one that you don't give a knife to. I am the one that you don't give a drill to. I am, I am, I am her. I, <laughs> I am the klutz, I'm trying to tell you. I tried to uh, score the, the plexiglass, try, and being impatient, not trying to wait for that, and broke my plexiglass. So, <laughs> Claudia, don't laugh. I'm serious. That is me. And I'll be laughing because I, I, I get on Doc's nerves. Well, he said I'm dangerous. I'm the type that won't get on the ladder to properly hang something. I'll just grab a chair. And, yeah. He was like, you can't work on the job site. <laughs> oh my God. I'm trying to tell y'all. Yeah, you gotta, you, you almost, you can score it to put a slit in it. You, she too, Alicia. <laughs> I don't know, Kim. Mm -mm, I ain't gonna make do that one. Mm -mm, you're gonna have to get somebody else to do it. <laughs> trying to tell you i am trying to tell you uh oh -uh, that and i i thought it looked pretty easy but i didn't broke the plexiglass all up so i was like he's like all you gotta do is go up and down a couple times and then hit it against something hard i did it and it cracked like uh it cracked like a carton of eggs i'm trying to tell you <laughs> all right guys i gotta finish packing so i can get out of here and be prepared for tomorrow's class um uh do, 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 do. i'm trying to think carla got the information tanya for for saturday that was the spot i went to today so that is like i said that's about maybe if you were at we were at the hilton that was maybe about 15 minutes um and when i was traveling it was like heavy traffic and an accident y'all see all that on the vlog oh my god it was a mess um so it kind of took me a little longer but ah uh, i'm trying to tell you I'm excited to get this out. This is my final class, y'all. This is my for this year. I really want to just focus on getting back into the creativity part, which I love, which is my content. And once you guys was talking about like go back to YouTube or like you guys still love YouTube, I was like, you wanna know what? The comfort and I could find I could find out. That's on there. So that's on there. The only thing I'm waiting for. With that, Kim, is a needle. It's a certain needle I need for my sewing machine because it's, it's a heavy duty. I, I got to get a heavy duty needle. But I already have everything for that because I actually bought that a year ago. I was supposed to bend did that. But that was like the thing. It was like hard. I could not create content because I was doing, I was doing everything. Y'all know. <laughs> so here for quarter two, I really like just, just want to focus on my content because I enjoy it. And so many people, so many people say they get so much like value out of it. So I said, I really want to beef that up a lot and just kind of put better content on there. And now that I, now that I pretty much, you know, I know the platform a lot better than when I first started. Sometimes I'll be looking at my old videos, be like, girl, what was you doing? <laughs> I'm like, Precious, you was doing too much. You was doing too much. It don't require all that. That's why I didn't want to make content because it was just too much. It was, it was a lot. I was like, mm -mm, we're going to make this simple. So I'm ready. <laughs> I can't say I know. I've been watching. So yeah, it's hotels all around because it's right in, um, wait a minute, for Saturday. Yeah, so for Saturday, that's not College Park. That is, it's right there by where my office used to be. It's called, it's Jonesboro. But I'm going to send that, I'm going to send like the actual address out tonight. Um... Yeah, it's, it was hotels like it's a busy area. It's not like we're not off in the woods. I ain't gonna take y'all to the sticks. 
Yeah, so I'm here, Kimberly. And guess what, Kim? I'm trying to tell you, girl. You're my girl, Kim. I'm trying to tell you. All y'all, my girl. I, I went right back. This looks familiar, Kimberly. <laughs> and I got two of these. I went right back to my list. And um, I like Kim been saying, do this for all this time. So don't worry. I, I got it, Kim. I got my list. Okay. I got my homework. I'm excited though. So more than likely, like I said, that's going to be Tuesdays. I'm releasing vlogs every Monday. So now I was just kind of like doing them randomly, like for the people that's in the membership, just to see if people even wanted to see that kind of stuff. And they do. They be leaving comments and everything. And I, I so I just now released that to like my regular channel. Um, so I'll have a vlog every Monday, but it'll be like a weekly vlog. That'd be fun. I don't know why I'd be like I'm doing right now. I don't know why I'd be, I just be rambling to the camera like I'm talking to my best friend. <laughs> I try to tell you, I don't know, but I love the vlogging, guys. I don't know what it is because for one, the main reason why I love it is because for one, I have grandchildren. Like if I could find some content of my grand my grandparents or like my dad, that would be that would be so freaking awesome. It would be. And I need my two grandbabies to, to realize their grandmother was dope. You know, because right now they know I'm dope now, but they don't know how dope I am. And so, but I just like it. And also I be forgetting so much, I'll I be forgetting so much stuff that I've experienced. And now to just kind of jot that journey down and then drop some nuggets along the way. I really enjoy it. I really do. I really do. And then like the stuff I be. <laughs> At least you say we be so gone then. It's weird, but it's like, because the places I be going, I'm like, somebody really make him find this information helpful. Like when I was going to the flower district, they were like, oh my God, thank you so much. I was like, all right, girl, you could have called me out of told you. <laughs> But, um, but yeah, like just giving like those, those little, you know, those little insights. I don't know. So I'm definitely going to keep doing that because I love it. But I'm going to be doing like, I got so much content that got to go on my other channel because I did so much stuff last year, y'all. I really did. And I just was recording, recording, recording because I had a plan for this year, but it, it ain't work out that way. God said, girl, sit down somewhere. You got to stay over here. <laughs> so... Um, I'm still doing that channel though, because I still do my, my, I still do my vlogs for that. Like all the stuff I'm doing to the house, we vlogging. I just ordered my, it's that dang on TikTok, y'all. I, I got to delete that app from my phone. TikTok will make you think you rich. I be like, why am I ordering all this stuff? Like I wouldn't normally buy this stuff. I wouldn't normally even be interested in getting it, but it's, it's that dang on TikTok. So yesterday, no, it came yesterday. So I don't know when I got it. It had to be, I don't know, over the weekend. Oh, I'm binge watching some dang on TikTok. And they be doing these refrigerator organizations. At first, they was agitating to me. I was like, you ain't got to do all that for the refrigerator. Like, why? Everything I be organized and why? But guys, I'm trying to tell you, the, the girl that went and bought her whole organization system. I can't wait. So I got to do my whole video of cleaning out the refrigerator, washing my fruits and veggies stock in the this is gonna be fun though i'm trying to tell you if y'all ain't in the vlogging world y'all got y'all gotta try it y'all gotta try it because you've been just coming up with stuff to do and it'd be fun that's how i came up with this freaking wall that ain't finished yet but i gotta stop watching tiktok y'all i do tiktok will have you broke it, it will have you broke so i don't know <laughs> oh my god tiktok had me tiktok had me doing so much tiktok had me Doing the air fryer stuff. TikTok had me juicing. TikTok had me doing the garden thing. TikTok had me paint my door black. TikTok had me paint my office back black. TikTok had me doing everything. I'm trying to tell you. I'm trying to tell you. Oh my god, it is addictive. But guys, I do got to get out of here. I'm just waiting to see if Doc um walk through this door any minute so we could get this stuff over to the venue. It's nine o'clock. Oh my god. So my goal is to get to be about eleven. If it's nine o'clock. That ain't gonna happen. 12. If, if I can get in the bed by 12, I'll be good. I'll be good. Cam Jones, you didn't miss the live, babe. Catch the replay though. So Alicia, that's one thing I don't do, thank God, because I've kind of set that, you know, that's a part of my nighttime 
a routine, but it did used to hit me up all night. I ain't gonna lie. But now, like, I will, I shut my phone off. Like, I'll, I'll shut it off. I, I'll be done. Because I'm in it all day, and it's, like, exhausting. And then, like, now that Doc come home late, like, when he's home, I, I need to be, I need to be available. So I, I'll leave my phone down. And I'm kind of used to it now. I don't even be thinking about a phone. And then my little, once my little chime go off, that little bedtime chime, phone down, I'm done. <laughs> I'm done. I'm done. All right, guys. I got to go. Many of you ladies, I will see y'all this weekend. Y'all is my ride or dies. I'm trying to tell you. She said she'll work in progress. It is progress, baby. I'm trying to tell you. It is progress. But I, I, I that part I've mastered. But I haven't mastered like riding in the car yet. I will still be in my phone. Um, but I'm, I'm my plan is to not be in my phone while we are unless I'm working. If I'm working, he he totally understands me. Don't say nothing. You went back to work. <laughs> oh my god, guys! I gotta get out of here. I love y'all as always. I will see many of you guys this weekend or like this week during these classes, and also. A lot of you guys on here apply for the um, the CDI program. So once I'm done these classes, that's when I'm going to be reaching out to, to, to kind of getting that program going because that actually launches in June. We was going to try to do it here in April, but that would have been pushing it because that's a that's a pretty extensive program, and I didn't want to rush it. Um, so yeah, so you guys will start like hearing about that, like what's the next steps and things like that. I can't wait to see you and some of my poor sisters this weekend. Oh, I love you guys. All right. I will see you guys as always. Catch me tomorrow if you can. Now, I'm not going to be on podcast long because I'll be just finishing the class and having to prepare for another one. But I'm going to stick to my plan because that's my focus is going to be my content. So I got to stick with the people, right? I got to stick with the people that support me. So I'll be here tomorrow night, y'all, on um, my regular YouTube channel. 8 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. But then for you guys, like that's in this, the, the membership, I'm going live exclusively just with you guys um, on Tuesday, the, the, both Tuesday. It's, it looks like the 18th and the 25th. I just don't know what the 25th is about. I, it's on the pink piece of paper. I can't read it. But you guys will see it once I upload it, um, the notif you know, the reminder and the thumbnail to the channel. So again, guys, I want to tell you guys good night. I will see you guys this week. And as always, stay positive. Ah! <laughs>